Hello, it's Jar News. School and kindergarten doctor and health project is being implemented. Within the framework of the project, basic medical equipment was provided to 26 public and private schools and 36 kindergarten doctors in the Darnot province. It has been clarified that the locality is implementing this project because there was a survey that the equipment needed to provide preventive and primary health care services to kindergarten doctors is insufficient. The most important thing is to get the equipment and tools and use them regularly. It is most important to know how to use it to cooperate with the healthcare organization and to be supported by the healthcare organization in all aspects. We are dealing with material things. Behind these schools and kindergartens should have doctors according to the regulations. Please understand that there is a need for school and kindergarten management to work closely with their children on a regular basis. According to research, Conducted in recent years, there is an important need to pay attention to the health of boys. This is about 60 to 70 percentage of young people of military age. Or when they go to the military for the first time, do not pass the medical examination due to health reasons. It can be said that this is a very high indicator. Our goal is to ensure that all obsolescents by boys 100% eligible. According to the research, this conclusion was reached. Dr. Wandan Surung, an honored health worker of Mongolia, gave me an advice. As a counsel for children, pay attention to this aspect. It was recommended to support the work of getting basic equipment for treating primary ear, nose, and throat diseases. This is providing basic equipment for children in schools and kindergartens. Of course, they are not specialized doctors, but general doctors, they provide that equipment to all doctors and in schools and kindergartens who need them, such as height and weight meters, intense devices, pressure devices, thermometers, etc. It's unique in that it covers all schools and kindergartens regardless of whether they are urban, rural, public or private. Before implementing this project, we took surveys from branches and units. According to research, there is a lack of equipment. Also, because the cost of pharmaceutical products are low in the budget, it was decided to provide that equipment to all local branches. With the implementation of this work, the most necessary materials are fully provided. If necessary, it will be shown at the family clinic. It's understood that with the provision of such equipment, it's possible to protect the health of doctors, employees, and students in schools and kindergartens, as well as to carry out preventive examinations and diagnosis. As a result of this project, 18,176 students of general education schools, 5,318 kindergarten children, and 2,440 teachers, employees, and employees of the education sector will improve their health education, undergo regular preventive examinations, determine their physical development, get fit, restore and develop immunity, prevent colds and flu. It's believed that early diagnosis will be possible. <music> Bilgung, a young man who graduated from 14th kindergarten in Hildensum in 2001, donated 300 kilograms of C. Bactorin to his kindergarten today. Why the not see Bactorin? So I started my first social life by studying in this kindergarten. We are donating 300 kg of sea Bactorin in our garden, thinking that we should start the social good deeds from the point where we left the society. 
The flu is starting, supports children's immunity. Of course, the state gives C. bacterium one to two times a week. The goal is to make it three to five times. Our company intends to conduct this activity every year. Since we are operating in Mongolia, we intend to do something good for the welfare of the society. Today is a, a happy event in our garden. Bilgun, who was graduated from this kindergarten in 1997, gave 300 kg of C. bacteria as a gift to fill with the annual needs of the children of the kindergarten. C. bacteria has vitamins for children. Mongolia is celebrating its 13th anniversary in 1992 with the adoption of the new constitution and the establishment of local self-governing organizations or People's Representatives Assembly. During this period, 289 people were elected as representatives of the Darnat Provincial Assembly in eight elections. During the past eight years, the People's Representative Meeting of the Darnot Province has been working on major historical decisions. Provincial People's Representative Council has several special powers. The biggest of the authority is the People's Representative Council at that level that is a special full-fledged organization that approves the regional development plan and budget for the socio-economic direction of the current year. The governor and the prime minister appoint the highest level, but the exclusive right of nomination rests with the People's Representative Council. As the governor of the province in the past, he worked closely with the People's Representatives meeting of the province and some People's Representatives meeting at all levels. In other words, as a governor, he is an official who is responsible for working in combination with the local administration. On the other hand, he is responsible to the prime minister and the government. In other words, because he is such an official who takes responsibility and implements directions before the People's Representative Assembly. He treated the assembly with respect, submitted and his suggestions and approved all the programs and plans. In the past, there were years of great social and economic changes in Darnet Promise. In 2008, I was elected as a representative of the People's Representative Assembly of Sun. From 2008 to 2012, he worked as the chairman of the assembly, citizens, representatives of Bolkhansom. From 2016 to the present day, he has been working as a representative of the People's Representative Council of the province. And since 2020, he has been working as a representative of the People's Representative Council of Som. For you, you have been working for the trust of citizens for more than 10 years. What are the one to two biggest projects you have implemented or initiated during this period? Being a representative of citizens is a very prestigious job. Congratulations to the 13th anniversary of the local self-governing organization to all those who worked as representatives of the meeting, chairman of the meeting and local management. Our SOM has a total of 21 representatives, among them six female representatives and 15 male representatives are working. The Kanjur Sutra is the dirt creation registered in the World Documentary Heritage of Mongolia. The grilled version of the 108 volumes of the sutra is being reprinted with a grant from the Indian government and distributed to monasteries, cultural and scientific institutions in Mongolia. On the 17th of the mid-afternoon New Year, the ceremony of 
chanting the scriptures was held in the Danrik Danjaldung Monastery of the Darnat province. He said that it's open to the public, scholars, doctors, and citizens to read and study the scriptures. The Ministry of Government and Culture of Mongolia, the Government of India, and the Institute of Mongolian Manuscripts of the National Cultural Center named after Gandhi have brought 108 volumes of Ganjur studies written in the Mongolian national language to the Darnat province. These 108 volumes have been published with the full patronage of the government of India. 50 of the total 108 volumes arrived in Mongolia. It has been distributed to nine districts of 21 provinces and headed by the Academy of Mongolian and National Library. This year, 15 enterprises have applied for loans from the Small and Medium Enterprises Development Fund. Out of this, the Nank Company of Hertensum in the field of processing milk products, and the Mugen Crown Company of Tashpalpursum in the field of beekeeping. Buying doctor companies of Tashpalpursum were selected to receive a loan of more than 5,000 million tukruks. Projects with a score of 70 or more must now go to the subcommittee meeting. The subcommittee will evaluate and rank the incoming projects based on their content, purpose and results after receiving a score of 70 points. Funding should be agreed upon with small and medium enterprises based on their priority. Are the results of the project aligned with the policy direction? How many jobs are being created? Is it an effective project? What is the impact on the environment, etc.? Loans from the Small and Medium Enterprise Development Fund are carried out in four states and these three enterprises are eligible for financing. He pointed out that by taking a loan to expand operations, the production of local branded products will increase and new jobs will be created. According to the survey of victims of false political cases, 3,652 citizens of Darnut province were repressed, of which 1,712 clergymen, 456 civil servants, 130 nine soldiers and 1,315 civilians were sentenced. There is evidence that 2,150 citizens were executed. This year, the state commissions to manage and organize the exoneration work is planning to organize work to illuminate other consequences of victims of false political crimes, enlighten and perpetuate their memory. And promote the law. In this context, on the occasion of the 13th anniversary of local self-governing organization, a corner was established in the museum to honor the memory of the victims. <laughs> Darnat province has the most repressed people in the country. 3,600 people were repressed and acquitted. Their children are 160 to 170 people alive in Darnat province. There are 539 of their grandchildren. Officials led by the secretary of the provincial state commissions to Walter came to meet and said that a memorial corner and crow should be built in the museum. Seven to eight works are planned with the framework of the 13th anniversary in the Museum of the Oppressed. A corner was created to perpetuate the memory of the oppressed. In the future, I plan to create a memorial crow for the victims of every shooting, and I'm very happy that is being implemented today. 
A column honoring the memory of victims of false political cases is a column that honors the memory of those who lost their lives, property, or lost their lives because of an incident that was not done. The main purpose of this memorial corner is to ensure that such evil things are not brought into Mongolia society again. In order to perpetuate the memory of victims of false political cases, every time is working to establish a crow. As part of the Safe City project with lights, four garden streets were lit. It includes the front street of the first general education school, ninth team of Hiltonson, seventh team of Hiltonson, Central Point Garden Street of Chaperson City, Bustawichni Garden Street, as well as the statue of Mother Olsen at the entrance of Chaperson City. A total of 16 large scale lighting works are being carried out in Hildensum this year. Four of them are being done in public areas. Point Zero is the park in front of school number one. It's being done in places such as Portuchni Square and Oldham Mother Monument. Because Dort team is marginal, the lighting is very poor to the west of the festival grounds. With this in mind, we are lighting the monument on the basis of the proposal of the representatives from the Dort team of the People's Representatives Conference to illuminate the statue of the old mother. From next year, we will take care of the landscaping work inside the park, make it beautiful and increase greenery. We are also working on a plan to focus on the lighting along the main road and the lighting of the suburbs. These four garden streets are being built with 240 million to groups funds of Hiltonson, and it emphasized that the safe travel conditions of the citizens are being met in this way. A meeting on women's participation in local development was held within the framework of the Women's Rights Network project which is being implemented with the support of the United Nations Development Agency and Korea Koika International Foundation. At the meeting, discussions were held on the issues of ensuring women's participation and gender equality at the decision-making level. I'm a women's participation and leadership in local development is starting with more than 300 women from the province and Soms. The main point of this advice is to involve women in the decision-making process. This conference is being organized because it's estimated that if women reach the level of women's decision-making, they will make significant progress in solving the problems faced by the country. Women bear the brand of the country's burden. Last May 2022, the Women's Leadership Network Circle of the Donut Province was held. Among the participants of this circle, six moderators were appointed, including party representatives of civil society organizations, representatives of social influence, etc. The initiative of this coordinators and initiative of the participants of the circle have been put into practice today. Before participating in this consultation, our team organized a training program for citizen participation and women's leadership development, which included 30 women leaders. By organizing this training, eight tasks facing the district are prioritized and memorandum is issued to be delivered to the leaders of the district. Representatives of the citizens of the district and the representatives of the people's 
Representatives Council of the Province. The fourth tree planting of the Billion Tree National Movement is underway. Tree planting activities will continue until the 22nd of this month, and organizations and enterprises will replant in their areas. Also, new trees will be planted, and it's planned to plant 50,000 trees. About 3,800 citizens and more than 140 enterprises participated in the past tree planting. I think that this year too, such organizations will participate. After planting the trees in the public area and people's yards, we plan to plant the remaining trees in the green belt at the bottom of the Hilton River forest restoration and roundabout to fulfill the norm. Of course, there is no concept of 100% growth when planting a tree. If 70 to 8% is growing, it's considered reasonable growth. Every year along the flight path, we carry out replanting at other places such as Bonkantla, Friendship Park, Monument of Mongolian Warriors, and Monument of Great Mother. An inventory of trees in the county areas of households and in public streets was conducted throughout the city of Jefferson. There are about 200,000 trees and people prepared to plant new ornamental and fruit trees. Therefore, he said he will prepare seedlings of this type of trees and shrubs and supply seedlings that meet their needs in the future. A technical assistance project to support employment reform through Budget Planning Alliance, with the Sustainable Development Goals implemented by the United Nations Development Program is being implemented in Mongolia. The General Department of Professional Supervision is working as a partner of the project, and it's planned to improve the implementation of laws and regulations within the project. Subsequently, a training was organized to provide information on the implementation of labor legislation to the mining and construction industry. More than 100 employers and mining companies operating in the Donut province are participating in this training. Also, this training is being organized in cooperation with the provincial Trade Union Committee and the Employers Attendance Association, the General Department of Professional Inspection, and the Provincial Professional Inspection. More than 100 enterprises and organizations have arrived. This training won't be conducted by the Professional Supervision Organization alone. Labor laws are more effective when they are implemented through the tripartite participation of social partners. Therefore, the representative of the Employers Association of Darnot Province and the head of the representative office of Mongolian Workers Union in Darnot Province has come and is working with us. In the future, there are indicators of new degrees in the law. In this matter, it's very difficult to file complaints violation of labor rights of employees, and even the employer to ensure the implementation of the law during the economic and COVID difficulties. However, since it's approved by law, the government of Mongolia is responsible for ensuring its implementation. The professional inspection organization working within the government has the death task of monitoring the implementation of laws and regulations, it means to have a good knowledge of laws and regulations and implement them well. Sustainable development will continue with the 
creation of decent jobs in the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and Vision 2050. Thank you for watching our news. See you next time.